All right, so another project out here in the shop. It's cold enough to warrant a uh, space heater. And I've been disassembling. I kind of put this on the back burner when I was doing the PWM. Um, and you may have seen some bits. But I had an array of stuff from the projection TV screen, which is all in here. You can see most of the metal work over there. There's some circuits. Uh, TV board. Uh, well, there were three projection TV screens. Or not necessarily screens, but TVs uh, that I was working on. Uh, I call it liberating. Forgive the safety goggles. Got a pretty good mirror. Kind of dirty, but you know, for something that's been shot at a couple of times, I got that. And I got a Fairno lens, which is right there. I mean, or it's the, actually the screen, but it's got a Fairno lens in it. I'm gonna eventually crack that open. And uh, see if we can harvest that. I'll see if I can harvest that because you're not here. Anyway, you know how that works. Um, but inside, the one of the ones that I was working on, the one that had been shot at and rained on the most, uh, there was an array with a circuit board. And then three of these Delta 78s, um, 3M Precision Optics, Cincinnati, Ohio, USA, and on all of them the barcodes ripped off but it's a Delta 78 lens um, I've taken the focus bits out they're right here I got a little parts container uh, I was having some trouble getting the plates off this is kind of stupid so I had been using my Dremel to try to cut the bases off and then I realized hey maybe there's a bit I haven't tried and there was so basically where we are now now that I've gone completely unrelated you take this and then you end up with this, which we will break open here in a minute. I'm actually going to show you how to get this, although it's fairly easy. You actually really don't want to use a Dremel. You may not say that often. You want to use a hacksaw. Weird concept, I know. But bear with me because I've already done this once today. And we're about to do it again. So I'm going to get my battery among all the trash bit. The reason you don't want to is, as you may be able to see, is melted plastic right there. Um, now you do want the Dremel. I'm assuming you can see this. Yeah, alright. Had to make sure. You do want the Dremel for this. And use safety glasses. You really just want to kind of make a guideline. Um, and then, if you haven't already figured it out, you take your hacksaw, line it up with this. This shouldn't take too long, so. Now you don't want to bite too thick. You, you want to leave that casing because that is this and um, it's kind of important to have that cleaning the blade right fast plastic bits kind of get annoying but um, straighten your blade as many times as you need to uh, obviously I'm doing this kind of a speedy way now you don't want to actually cut into this casing I've bumped it once and now, I've already done this to the other side in preparation for the video. Like this, this. Just for cleanliness sake, which really doesn't matter, but you know. Now, this is the one I just, no, this is the one I just did. Um, but basically you take this and you'll pull on it to where it separates. Last time it didn't break, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. And you'll come with this. Excuse me while I throw it away. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Alright, you can actually see it really well. 
all the different shapes here, or all the different colors, is because this is a convex lens and there are other lenses inside it, as you can see. The, this was the side that had the oil on it that I managed to get all over the place over there. I consider it oil. I had a friend look it up while I was cleaning it all up, and they said it was just water. I don't believe that. But yeah, just reverses everything in kind of a weird manner. Kind of cool, fun to play with. But yes, we are going to, essentially speaking, destroy it. Now I've noticed that there are these doohickeys. I do not know quite how they operate. They look like you just snap them on. They also look like they'd very easily be cut. So, when pressing on them does not do anything because the hacksaw has already scored them. Uh, it's probably not the best of ideas, but alas, I have three more goes, or two more goes. That flew off somewhere. So yeah, get your flat blade screwdriver, since apparently this works. Create a little crack in it with a hacksaw blade. And then just pop this baby right out. Now that worked on this side. And that reveals to us. I'm gonna pop out this other side right fast. Because uh, I want to mostly to make this easier. So I don't break one of the lenses. Of course, it's not going to want me to do this. All of this is trial and error. I am by no means a professional at any of this. I'm getting plastic all over the place. Oh well. But yes. And three, two. There we go again. Now this. If it'll work the way I want it to, we'll leave us with it looks like three lenses. Of varying ability. It's my very unprofessional way, because I've got pieces of plastic and Leftover bits of stranded wire that I had to clip for the PWM. So I will lay out this wonderful cleansing cloth, aka paper towel. I'm assuming I'm doing all this testing on the job, which is very unprofessional of me. There went my Gatorade. And like always, if you say it, you'll be thirsty. Let's see if that's positioned correctly. And we will adjust slightly with this wonderful little tripod that I have. Now, this is solid glass from the weight of it. It can actually focus the light from our heat lamp using fairly well. Uh, flashlight all right we don't have a flashlight but yes this is a fine piece of optical glass uh, I figured it was optical glass because of the weight yada 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 this is kind of heavy but it's just kind of a plastic clear lens and be careful with all this stuff you can get hurt very easily which I'm probably about to do give you a perfect example since I managed to go and get my hand stuck under an AC unit yesterday that's one of those it just happened stories all right all right that's why I didn't come out as we all know the inside of a jacket it's a perfect way to clean stuff 
and this is again just a piece of plastic which we're essentially going to get something I really like this piece right here it's kind of fun to mess with but yeah and then you get these two now um, side note I do not deal with this stuff on a daily basis nor do I intend to regularly it is just something I did for fun so if you have a tech more technical way to do this or names for all these pieces that I'm just gallantly tossing around maybe gallantly is not the right word for this but you get my drift if you know more about this than I do basically feel free to make a video that shows your expertise in the field of projection screen TV projects for lack of better terminology. Alright, let's see. Just to see if, because this was the, when you're looking at the ray from the back, it was on the right. So it was that lens. And I was just curious to see if different ones would have different lenses, and it seems they don't. I don't think. Let me see. So we might have no, there. But yeah, solid glass gives it most of its weight, which is not very much anyway. And this just kind of pops right out. Now to show you the anatomy of the inside of this thing, this one sits in this little groove. It actually kind of pops in due to mechanical retention, I believe. Um, this one just sits right in the back right there more like that um, and then the glass one sits right there now you can see that by the shape of the edge why it would be able to sit right there because the grooves are fitted to hold multiples now the reason Again, hypothesizing that it has all these extra grooves is because in the one I got this idea from the King of Random uh, I think his name is Grant Thompson I'll probably send you a link over to his videos uh, and he's got this in the fair no lens thing he did this and I was watching and so I decided I wanted to do it um, and his had I think four plastics and one glass and or no three plastics and one glass and then another project I was going to do which is make a burning light which didn't work um, just curious to see how this would focus the beam I don't think we're going to get smokage there so I'm moving around too much that's two out of the three. I'm glad you could join me for the video.